Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with an up another update on the uh, Woody Belvamine Paul, Military Model Paul, the Merkaba 3 LIC. So as you can see, I've uh, completed the turret. We'll zoom in and we'll have a look. Right, let's start from the, we'll work our way around from the top. As you can see, I've got the pigments on there, I stopped doing the oil work from last time. I uh, use the pigments which I showed you on the on the tracks, the uh, sand which is a model as well, sand with uh, bits of grass or dried, dried stuff into it. This one here, remember I showed you this one last time? Whoa, where are we are. Yeah, so that's pigment in there with um, the light sand again with the is this the light sand? Is this the light sand? Yeah, with this one here. I use that in combination of the two things together. Put this on the base first and then put the pigment on the top. Uh, sort of blended it in. That's the sort of effect that I got on there. So let's just, I'll pick it up from the bottom and we can go from where we can see on the top. So as you can see, I've added some little, I've added a couple of um, crew helmets and a bit of clothing on top of the doghouse and a bottle of whatever it is water in there as well I uh, got the connection there for the uh, 50 cal that's to be a choice I must presume by either the commander or the loader they've got the choice of uh, pulling the handle I presume and again I've put another helmet on top of the uh, with a machine gun as well and a little tarp over there as well just a little picture that I saw them from the books I've got from the Meng version uh, I thought well oh, here I can add those did a little bit of chipping there's not a lot of chipping on um, modern day vehicles they usually are well maintained especially the IDF they went to uh, great extensions great uh, pleasure with uh, keeping their tanks clean as, cl or as clean as it can be there's the uh, 50 cal with the basket. That's done. Go from this side. And the barrel, obviously, and on the end, I've got the barrel. A bit of, a bit of um, graphite, and then one of the little um, pads just rubbed it round to get a nice sort of a shine on the end of there. And I did a little bit of that in the commander's coop and the loader's hatch there as well, rest around the rim from there as well. So and on the other sides we've got also oh, the flags, haven't we? So I've got the uh, the arrows on. If you look on the top, where are we are on that one. Let's have a thing here. On that one there with the uh, on the end, that's baby air glue too. I tip the um, arrow upside down. Dip it in some PVA, leave it to set a little bit and keep building the ball up on the end, that's all I did. Just dip it in PVA, turn it upside down, leave it to hang, it'll form a sphere. And if you want them any bigger, just keep dipping them. Did the same on the other one as well, but I did the uh, IDF flag. Weather that less slightly again with those weathering paints. You can get a better picture there we go. So I've done that with those. I think that's about it on the on some the I made the sort of the, like hooks on the uh, things on the on the antennas as well. They made out of wire, thin wire. I couldn't find me bloody um, ship stuff, you know, that I, when I built the uh, oh well the rigging. I couldn't find. I don't know where I've put it. So yeah, so that's what uh, so that's the tour of complete really. Nothing else needs to be. Let's just zoom out a bit again. Oh, I should never get that right, you know. I'll just zoom out again. So what I'm going to try and do next is we're going to start moving on to the hull. And I'll be doing the same again as exactly what I did with this. Uh, starting off with the... This, with the um, deposits. The deposits are a certain way. I'm going to do all of it. I'm just going to do certain places. And with the pigment stuff again with the mixture of the uh, dried grass in it as well. And we can sort of, I'll bring the, I'll bring the, uh, the actual hull in and we can see. I'll just pop that out of the way for now. 
this holds quite heavy with these metal tracks. So only you can see on these I've added the let's zoom in again. As you can see I've added the um let's remove this out of the way. A little pointy stick, can you see these? I've can, can we <laughs> let's just move it along. Let's just move it along. Yeah, I added the uh, <coughs> uh, uh, antenna things on each corner. Painted uh, those white. There's four of those, and that's with the small, the small area goes on four. The uh, this one. Oops, someone's fallen, but in fact, let me see. So they're going on each corner. I'm not going to put them on yet because I'll know me. I'll knock them off. And I've done a little bit of weathering on a bit of chain as well. I'm not going to have the um, mine, mine plow attached, I'm going to have it sort of separate and as if they're going to uh, attach it. So I've got this bit of cable to go around the front as well on the uh, guide-ons, guide-ons, the um, tow horns, whatever they are. So I'm going to add that to it at the front and just give it a slight dusting as well. I'm getting near there. And then, yeah, I'm going to have it slightly set off to a side and the crew are waiting, sort of relaxing, having a drink and then they're going to put the um, the mine plow on, well, mine plow, the um, mine roller on, so that's what I'm going to do anyhow, it's just slightly something different, um, yeah so that's basically the hull is, as you can see it's, it's normally the oil, so all I'm going to do is just do the same with the, you put the, the, the dust deposits and the, uh, and the pigments and just do certain rings right, right round inside here, even though you're not going to see it, just slightly underneath here on top of the baskets, as you can see I've done most of the weathering that's in underneath. Where are we at? Get my hands on there, Let's see. Just underneath, it doesn't need a lot. The tracks have worked quite well. It's gonna do like top surfaces and things like that. Just the top surfaces. Uh, I've got another tail cable, I'm thinking of adding it onto the front just loosely or fastened down in some a variation or tucked in something. Just as well as the chain, I might have them because the mine flower isn't going to go on, so I may have uh, tweezers, 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 tweezers. I might just have one sort of quite thick and chunky of these things. I might certainly find some um, what do we call them? Shackles. I might have a couple of shackles somewhere actually, I'll just put a couple of shackles on there and then they'll fit better because they're a bit tight on there, it doesn't give me much room to... Well I suppose it does, but I might, I'll have a look see if I've got any shackles and I can maybe tuck. Oh, something like that, something like just something different on the front and then with the chain, maybe just a bit of chain on the back or on the front, I'm not too sure yet, whichever. We'll play around with the idea when I, when I get to it. So, um, I think we're about there now. So, I'm going to do a small tire, nothing too exciting, just a small, small one with the, uh, obviously with the tank and the few crew, which I've given my light dusting of sand and dust and that, so. I'm not the world's best figure painter, but I don't know how I do those, so... Yeah, you see the man about the being in relaxed pose. I'm going to work them into it. Obviously he's going to be in the... Uh, one of the hatches, and these, these three lads are just going to be mooching about. So, I've got a few jerry cans uh, painted and ready to uh, for them to sit on and things like that, so... That's the idea of the day, that's what I would like to plan and do, so... And say it looks quite nice when it's all together. Let's just take it off, off of there. I'm thinking of maybe having it as an angle as well, like so. Let's zoom out. Oh, for God's sake, get it right. At an angle like that. I think it looks nice like that. So you can see a bit of the work that you've done underneath, like the fuel, obviously the fuel caps and the you know the tools that you've done. Uh, obviously the, the driver's hatch, all little pieces like that you can, that you can, when you put it on normally you, you lose a lot of it, you lose a lot of it, so you, you know if you put it straight, straight on like that, 
you're losing a lot of the work that you've done at the end so I'm going to say I'm going to have it at that angle I think like so just somewhat similar like that off off you know off to off on a, on a tangent and then one man in there plow probably yeah, can we pull this back plow set off at an angle like so as if they're ready to put it on and then obviously the crew a bit of dia a bit of uh, sand and other bits and rocks and things and that, that's really about it so as you can see the um the roller is a bit lighter, in, sorry, a bit lighter in colour, it's being used more, it's got more rust, it's got more chips, because obviously it's, it's a mine roller, it's going to get chipped, it's going to get clouted and banged. It's not just set for one tag, anybody comes and puts it on, so, you know, so that's why that is slightly rustier and dirtier than the actual tank itself. Um, I think that's about it really, so what I'll go away and do is now, is do the same as I've done on the turret, onto the uh, hull. Oh, sorry, this part here is an attachment for the actual um, mine roller. The, it's actually put on, I haven't glued it on yet, but it actually just sits, it sits farther down, actually. Somewhere around there, I'll look at the instructions, it fits onto that. Some, somehow, I don't know if it's, it's for a connection for the actual mine roller, but it comes with the mine roller, so I'm going to look into that before I, before I go any farther with that. So, yeah, that goes on there, something like that. Oh, let's zoom in again. Let's go back. We are got it right. Yeah, so if I have the. Uh, there we are. What was I saying? Bloody, my, my bloody memory's gone. It's terrible at the moment. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, gone. Completely gone. Oh yes, with this thing here. Yeah, it's part of the um, mine roller, which is destructions are somewhere. Yeah, we go. yeah, if you look on the front of the booklet, you've got that attachment down there. So obviously, because it's comes with that, I've because it's been taken off and on that many times so it's got a bit more wear and tear on it so yeah so that will be on there if it is to be put on there presumably there's enough there's no connections off of it I see if there's any connections from that that goes to the actual mine roller itself um, we'll have a look before we attach or I do that but yeah, so I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm very happy with the first modern vehicle as such. It's took a long time to see I've been away to see my son and one thing and another. Um, I had a few busy days catching up with uh, things at home. So I'm, uh, I didn't get much much done for the first few days. And what I've done is just been intermittent and doing bits and pieces as I can. So, but I say, it's, I do like the Merc of it. I have to, I'm going to have to say it's going to be my most favourite most favourite of uh, the modern vehicle oh, I haven't built any more modern vehicles but I do like the Merkava I like the shape of it the look of it even the Merkava 1 the 2 I've got the the 2 hybrid and the 2D uh, in my stash somewhere so that will be built at some point I'd like to have the full you know collection from 1 up to wherever we mark 4 LIC the trophy and things like that all the way through I'd, like, I'd love to be able to do that, build most of what, what's available in their uh, in model kits anyhow. So, I, so I'm beginning to waffle, so I'll go away and do the weathering on the last bit of weathering on the hull and to match the upper to the turret. And once it's done that, um, I'll come back and then I can show you what sort of thing we want to do in the diorama. I think that's all. See, it's not going to be, I think I've got a bit of wood somewhere for it. Whenever I put it, yeah, got a bit of wood there, so I'll build that up, and uh, we'll go from there. So once again, I say I'd like to thank you very much for viewing and uh, taking time out of your day to do so. To all my old subscribers, thank you very much again, and welcome to my new subscribers as well. I hope you uh, 
find the channel okay and uh, one thing or another so I'm going to try in this next in, in, in this year's do more sort of uh, how to I know a lot of people do their how to's and most of them are roughly the same but I don't know I may as well throw my pennies worth in as they say as well how I do it it's maybe slightly different to what you do it and what other people do it but to my eye I think I've got it you know quite right I think <laughs> I'll probably, get, I'll probably get lynched now for saying that all the river counters will be out no you haven't done this, they haven't done that anyhow I'm beginning to waffle so Mr Greg signing off and we'll catch you very very soon with the uh, probably the last update so Mr Greg signing off and we'll catch you soon